ladies and gentlemen please uh, join me in welcoming our keynote speaker for the day who would be speaking on television advertising in the digital age please give a big round of applause for uh, mr vivek sharma the managing director of anchor electricals by panasonic let's hear it for mr sharma thank you and good morning may I request all of you to just rise please Agnostics aside, let's devote 30 seconds to thank God. I'll tell you for what in a moment. 30 seconds to thank God. Amen and thank you. Why should we thank God? I think all of us are blessed. We are lucky. We are born in this age this year. If you look at the last 10 years, we have had 10 times more disruptions in the last 10 years than we have had in the previous 100. The average age of a disruption also is coming down. And all of us in marketing are truly blessed. All of us are lucky to be born, not only the market is, but our core target, that is the customer. We are all lucky. We have choices, we have options, and we are lucky to be born in this age and this world. If you look at marketers, all of us, what is our actual job? Our job is to get connected and to stay connected. So for all of us, this today's age, we tend to take a new look at this old challenge. How The old challenge is how to connect and how to remain connected. There is a whole world that is changing around us. Our country is changing even more rapidly. If you look at demographics, for instance, our population is growing at X. The number of households is growing at X plus 10 percent. The urbanization is going at X plus 10 plus 20 percent. So the world is changing around us. People are moving from villages to towns. The media is changing. The way we consume media is changing, right? If you look at the topic given to me today itself, television advertising in the digital world, Right? You could flip it around and say digital advertising in a TV world as well. Not too much difference. Right? So, in a grey defined subject like this, let's try to make some sense. I'll share some data with you and some numbers. And those who are interested, I mean, no need to note down, I'll leave a copy of the data behind. And data is anyway very easily accessible to all of us. So, I will start by laying some data. And then I will lay the hypothesis, which I am sure there is an eminent panel of speakers following. It could lead to some debate, some discussion, but I am sure broadly there will be consensus at the end of the day because Shashiji is concluding today's session and he will make sound sense out of what all of us are trying to say. So to start with, If you look at the revenue share media-wise, right? As Mr. Auja said, TV is the big dog in the room. The dog wags the tail, not the tail wags the dog. And at best, if you go by today's numbers, digital advertising is the tail. And as I said, the big dog is TV. But still, why then the subject? television advertising in a digital world. The reason is, while TV is the big dog today, but it's growing at 12 percent, and while digital is approximately half of that, but it is going at thrice the pace, which is why 
digital is the tail that is as exciting as the dog for some. So let's expand further. If you look at all the media, it's very clear that all media have room to grow. There is no stagnation, there is no saturation. Some are growing at the expense of others, but if you look at data and details today, all media have room to grow. Digital is growing very fast, as I said, three times the rate of TV, but growing all the same. If you look at the percentage penetration, again, TV leads today, but in 10 years' time, digital will probably be a big challenge and as big. If you look at where the growth is coming from, small towns and rural cities, uh, sorry, rural areas are what will drive the growth of TV going forward. Digital, as we all know, is linked to ownership of the smaller screens and therefore largely urban red. So rise in purchasing power, growing urbanization, led by the initiatives that the Modi government is taking, will encourage the growth of TV going forward, even more. Also another factor that is important is that if you look at the total households and if you look at the share, the share of TV is growing from 64 to 66 percent and TV household owning households are growing up. TV owning households incidentally are growing faster than the growth of population and the growth of number of households. Sorry. TV advertising for many small brands is viewed as costly. They feel that if they are not pan India, TV is just not affordable. So there have been recent advances in technology which has proved companies like Amagimix to make a easily available for city-centric brands or regional brands to advertise without losing their profitability. So small and medium enterprises have benefited from such medium. Now you look at the way TV as a universe itself is growing. And if you see the cost per million, the ad rates and the market shares of huge brands are not affected, but smaller brands have come in. A lot of new brands have emerged. So if you see in FCT, there has been a three times increase in the last eight years. If you see the number of channels, there has been a boom, two and a half times in eight years. And if you see increase in the number of brands coming into TV advertising, that has gone 100, 150% or one and a half times in eight years. So number of brands, number of channels, FCT in million seconds, all have shown a very, very healthy and a significant growth over time. But despite other medium and other media growing, if you look at the reach of TV, it has not been too largely affected. It's not lost because of any media eating into it. So if you see the trend going forward, the next five years, the share of TV is likely to be broadly in the range of 40% or so. Print share is getting hit and very rapidly and likely to decrease by about 10%. This loss of 10% is likely to be gained by digital in turn. So digital on the face of it will eat into print, cannibalize print. TV and digital together will be 70% of media share. And over the next five years, 50% incremental spends of media and consumption in digital will happen. On the whole, if you look at just TV, it's growing at a CAGR of 16%. As I mentioned some time back, this 16% may slow down slightly and come, to, come down to about 12-13%. But grow it will. 
So TV is not slowing down below the single digit mark. It's anyway going to grow at double digit. TV is also evolving. Earlier we had the cathode ray tube, the TV single standalone, then we had the remote which was a disruption in TV viewing. And now we are coming into the age of smart TV. And smart TV penetration is growing at 30% in India per year, which is going to further accelerate as more and more brands get into the smart TV manufacturing and distribution game in India. So TV is going to be there as the first screen for quite some time to come. Next five to 10 years, TV will still be the predominant first screen we use. What matters is how and when the shift and the mix of shift to the second and the third screen takes place. So digital therefore, along with new age media like OTT, will start emerging as a challenger to TV going forward. And as you can see from the data 2017 to 2020, mass consumers, including pay or free TV or free OTT, will go up two and a half times, which is quite a challenge in itself for new advertisers. However, TV continues to have the highest reach, especially in a large, diverse and geographically dissipated company, a country like India. So 75% against 19% of digital. So TV undisputably continues to be the big dog in the room. I'm sorry. I seem to have pressed the wrong switch. Now let's look at TV as a medium most of us, especially my generation, have got used to viewing. TV is family time. It's co-viewing. It's not one screen, one person. It's one screen at times, maybe 20 people. So co-viewing is high and that differentiates the TV viewing time. And family prime time on TV versus the digital one, which is the me time, me and my screen, that's what is a shift swiftly coming in. 98% of Indian homes, data suggests, have just one TV in the house. TV is about the joy of togetherness. Sports, World Cup, all events are watched together and most of us prefer seeing it as a group of friends, family, rather than watching solo on streaming media. So TV for us has been the trusted medium, relatively controversy free, not given to any sort of bias or any sort of modification or something which is different from what I want to communicate without influence of any other outside entities. So Amul and YouTube and Zuckerberg, these are animals of the digital medium, but TV broadly protects us from any such disturbances. So TV triggers product search on the second screen. For example, if you are watching a TV program and there are advertisings, advertisements which come in, many times it prompts us to use either our mobile phone to look up or our mobile phone to Google search as to what is the brand, what is the company, what are the offering, what are the pricing. So there is a connect between these two media. TV, therefore, is also a medium. I mean, one doesn't view it totally independently, but TV is a medium for digital. If you look at the big digital brands, whether it is Google, Apple, Facebook, Amazon, especially Amazon in India, they are among the top five advertisers on TV in our country. So therefore, if you look at e-commerce brands, Flipkart, you look at Google, Facebook. In fact, Amazon is India's number two advertiser on TV, which is saying a lot. So 
although some of us look at TV and digital as separate, but there is an interplay between the two. They are not separate, they are not in isolation. So, in other words, TV is embracing digital. So, if you look at Woot, or you look at Sony Life, or you look at Hotstar, Star paid a fortune to get the rights of the Cricket World Cup. But what is helping them is not only the reach of Star as a television channel, but more importantly, as all of us tend to get mobile, Hotstar has helped them to retain a firm grip on this property. And therefore, TV is embracing digital. TV and digital, therefore, <coughs> my contention is, will walk together. We'll walk a long way together, next five years to ten years. And TV and digital measurement will span advertising, minimize wastage, and increase the efficiency and effectiveness of advertising spend. And therefore, enhance the ROI of each rupee that we marketers would like to spend. The advent of Bach has helped stabilize things. And Bach is the TV trading currency of today. And that has helped the TV medium, in my opinion, indirectly. So TV and digital will continue to complement each other in the coming years, is my contention, the hypothesis I would like to lay. And on that, I would like to rest my case. Thank you very much.